serious problem for business. The association said in a statement, food companies are being forced to make decisions on how to comply and having to spend millions of dollars. One small state's law is setting labeling standards for consumers across the country. Complete another joke because it doesn't cost very much to put a label on your product when they're constantly changing, changing labels continually. Nestle supports the mandatory informed disclosure of the presence of GMO ingredients in food and beverages and believes it's best done by a uniform national approach, but will abide by state laws if they come into effect, according to a spokeswoman for the company. Food giant General Mills said Friday it will start nationwide labeling on products that contains genetically modified ingredients, saying it's not practical to do so for just one state. Campbell's Soup Company is also printing new national labels in preparation for Vermont's law, although it opposes state-by-state -state labeling requirements. This shows that the United States has the capacity to join the 64 other countries that have already required GMO labeling, Vermont governor said. I urge other companies to follow the lead of General Mills and extend the right to their consumers nationwide as well. Other companies are weighing their options. Her Foods, a mid-sized snack food company based in Philadelphia, is considered pulling its products from Vermont if the law takes effect, said its senior vice president for sales and marketing. Just the logistics, the expense are horrendous, he said. You'd have to duplicate that in every state that went along with its own regulations and then multiply it again and again and again times how many ever states choose to have their own requirements, he said. In addition, he said ensuring the differently labeled products are sorted and distributed correctly would be difficult and costly. The food industry argues those costs will be passed on to the consumer and some independent Vermont retailers are worried about how it will affect their bottom line. As retailers, there are all sorts of ways that this could backfire on us as a state and as a small independent guy like myself, if I've got nothing on my shelves, I've got a limited supply and my competitors have no problem with the same power, we're done.